make sure you're okay with it. I was like, no, 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 I'm not reviewing. I trust you. You do what you think is going to work. You think we, we, what you believe and what you want to say, you say it. Don't, don't run it by me. Do it, and I trust you. It'll be very, very good. So she went, and um, she did have a script. But uh, what happened was you have, all, you know, because you have, when you do one of these shoots, you've got all these people milling around. So she basically just said, all right, the cameraman there, everybody else out of the room. And she threw the script away, and she just did it and spoke from the heart. And that's why, and that's why it's been effective. So she was there with me. She was talking about that. Somebody, oh, and oh, by the way, when Hurricane Ian came through, she immediately, actually even before Ian, actually hit, she had already launched this Florida Disaster Fund, which has raised over $50 million for the storm victim. So it's really good. But we, so, you know, we, you know, we have Sean there and we have, um, you know, we have Casey there um, and we're talking about kind of the stakes of the election. And these fights are different than some of the fights in the past. It used to be you'd run election, okay, this the liberal candidate wants higher taxes, maybe more welfare programs, something like that. Conservative candidate wants something else. But you were supposed to agree on kind of the basic foundational principles of our society. Uh, well, now that has really broken down. Where you have the woke left, you know, they reject the foundational principles of our country. They do not even believe in basic concepts of law and order, and they want to create a political system that makes conservative Americans second-class citizens. That's why they want to make D.C. a state. That's why they want to pack the Supreme Court. That's why they want to abolish the Electoral College, and that's why they want to ban voter ID nationwide. That's not because they just want to have, quote, good government. It's because they want to ensconce themselves in power and keep us from not having a voice. That's one of the reasons they're having such a conniption about Elon Musk taking over Twitter. <laughs> It's just because they know that Musk is going to open it up. And Musk, and you know, Musk is, it's, I mean, it's not like he's like a super conservative, but he understands that the woke elites in this country are trying to shove an agenda down everybody's throat. And they want to silence you and stifle you if you're dissenting from that. And so he takes umbrage at that. Uh, and he doesn't think, I mean, obviously he realizes these woke elites are bankrupt and they don't have anything to offer our country. And so by opening up platforms, you know, it's going to allow the truth uh, to, set, to, to disseminate more freely. And they're very worried about that because what I've found just as being governor, you know, I wake out, I get out of bed in the morning and the left has a spasm. The media has a spasm. I mean, that's just like my life, right? But when you speak the truth, and you just deliver that message and people know what you're saying is right, you cut through all the nonsense. And so that's what they fear. They know that they're going to be exposed if they don't have the ability to manipulate the algorithms and ban people and do all that other stuff. And so, so what he's doing. But that they want to control all these major levers of society and do it. So that's just why these are important fights. And I think Florida, the role that we've played in, in kind of fighting back on all this, we have been freedom's outpost in this country, bar none. We are the place that people look to for leadership. So we've got a lot of work to do, and it's not easy. It requires sacrifice. I mean, you know, just being involved in, in anything now, you, the left will attack you, the media will smear you. These parents, you know, they'll go to school board meetings because they're concerned about the curriculum. And what do they do? Merrick Garland had the FBI, you know, investigate these parents. I mean, it's really crazy. So, so freedom is not free. Uh, it comes at a cost. If you want to be able to stand up for it, you've got to have some courage. And you got to be willing to take the arrows. And look, I've been willing to do that. Uh, whenever I get attacked, uh, I just dig in even more and stand up for you. And that's that's really my job. So we've got a lot of work to do between now and November 8th. And I really would ask you to just recognize the stakes, work really hard. I want to see a massive, massive turnout in Franklin County. I think if we could do that, um, it'd be really good. And all of really uh, northern Florida, I think we're going to do very, very well in. Uh, so work hard for us. Uh, make sure you talk to people. Not everyone votes in these midterm elections. More people vote in the presidential than this. 
but I think they realize that who your governor has been over the last four years is probably just about the most important political office because you had a governor protecting your freedom or taking away your freedom, and we were protecting. So do that. And I, I do think that this, is, this, this election is a generational election. I think if we win and we win with authority, uh, Florida is going to be on a course uh, where the left is not going to be able to knock us off track. And that's not just with me being governor. That's years and years into the future. So we got to do that. We need to stand up for, for our freedoms, for our state, our kids, our grandkids. We also need to recognize there's a lot of people that have sacrificed over the years to be able to make this a free country. I used to go to Washington, D.C. back in the day. I was a uh, uh, I've recovered from the experience, but I was a member of Congress for a few terms. And, uh, you know, you'd fly up to D.C., and, and as you'd go into Reagan Airport, sometimes you'd take a route that was flush parallel to the National Mall. So the left side of the plane, you'd see the Lincoln Memorial, and you're flying pretty low. It's like really, uh, really neat imagery to see that. You see the reflecting pond. You see Jefferson Memorial, some of these others, uh, Washington Monument. And then you ends up seeing a really sweeping view of the Capitol building up there on the hill. And you think to yourself, you know, those are symbols of the ideas and the principles that our country stands for and that really makes us unique. And the tourists would love it and everything. And, you know, it's kind of a grind being up there. But if you look at that, you get a little bit of inspiration. But uh, what, I rec what I started to realize was uh, if you looked out the other side of the plane, uh, it was actually uh, the better monuments of the two. You'd look over the Potomac River into northern Virginia, um, and those monuments were, were much smaller, very nondescript. They were orderly arranged in rows over what uh, looked like rolling hills in a place called Arlington National Cemetery. And it occurred to me that uh, you could have the best ideas exemplified on the National Mall. You could have the best Declaration of Independence. You could have the best Constitution. Uh, but if you don't have people that are willing to stand up, uh, put on that uniform, risk their lives, and even give their lives for those ideas, then they don't end up amounting to very much. And so when we look at the battles that we have to fight here and the sacrifices we have to make to keep our state free and to be a leading light for our country, our sacrifices pale in comparison to the sacrifices that so many people have made from the very beginning of our country. So uh, let's do it uh, to vindicate the people uh, that have fought so hard for us. And I'm, I'm on board to do that. So are we going to get it done on November 8th or what? Are you going to come out in full force? We love you. Thanks so much. God bless everybody. Appreciate it.